Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Bill here, and today I'll be showing you how to make a 3D Lumidurumi whale. Now let's get started. So the materials you will need are some rubber bands, two black beads for the eyes, a stitch marker, and a hook. And today I'll be using white rubber bands and gray rubber bands. You can use whatever color you like. If you don't have beads for the eyes, you can also use black wrapped bands. And for the stitch marker, you don't need to use this one. You can also use a C-clip, an S-clip, a rubber band, or whatever you like. And for the hook, you can also use a crochet hook. So first, you're gonna take your hook, take a rubber band, and this will be the top of our whale. So it's the upper part of the body. First, you're gonna take one rubber band, wrap it around your hook three times. So you get three loops. Take another rubber band and pull through the cap band. And you're gonna tie a slip knot. Then you're gonna go through the cap band again. Take another band, pull through the cap band only, put both ends on your hook, and pull and pull the front one through the back too. So this is the magic ring and we're gonna do um, four more left. So we already do two stitches and we need six. So one, two, go back into the cap band. Take a band, pull through the cap band, put both ends on your hook, pull through everything. That was stitch number three. Number four. Number five. And number six. So you should get six V shapes. So, you know, the V shape right here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So right now, you're gonna take your stitch marker and put it through the band on your hook. So that is a magic ring. Then we're gonna do increases all the way around. So an increase, you're gonna go through the first loop, not this one, not this one. You're gonna go to this. One. Take a band, pull through the V shape only, put both ends on your hook, and pull the first one through the second and third one. Then, for an increase, you're going to go back into the exact same V shape you did at the last stitch, and you're going to do another stitch. So you got two stitches in one V shape. Then you're going to go to the other one and do exactly the same thing. So one stitch at a V shape and the second stitch. So that is one increase and total we got two increase here. So we're going to do four more. So we get 12 stitches at the end. One and two. One and two. One. The 
last stitch one two remove your stitch marker and put it on the band on your hook so right now you should have 12 stitches so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so right now we're just gonna do single stitches all the way around so one band in each V shape just one row one and we're just gonna jump to the next one so no increases here go to the next So we're just doing normal stitches all the way around. To the last stitch. Take your stitch marker off and put it on the band on your hook. So right now, when you're done with one row, we're gonna do the tail of the whale. So now we're gonna go to the next stitch right there. Take a band, pull it through, but don't do a stitch yet. You're just gonna chain one on And take another band, pull through the chain one, like that. So you got two chains. Then you're gonna pull through the first one, through the second, and the third. So right there you made a stitch. And then you're gonna go through the first chain right there and do three stitches in there. So one normal stitch, Two, and three. So right now, it should look like this. We're gonna go to the second stitch, and you're gonna pull through everything on your hook. Put both ends on your hook. You're not gonna do a stitch yet. You're gonna take another band and pull through everything. And right now you're gonna make a slip knot. And just the same, you're gonna do two stitches in the first chain right here. So go through one, Two, and three. When you got three stitches, you're gonna go to the next stitch and pull through everything on your hook and tie a slip knot. It should look like this. Then you're gonna go to the next stitch and we're gonna make the fin. It's very similar to the tail. So first you're gonna take a band, pull through that V shape, but you're not gonna make a stitch. You're gonna take another band and pull through that chain one. And now we're gonna make a stitch. 
And now you're gonna take your hook, go through chain one, and do three stitches in there. One, two, and three. And right now, this is your fin. And the next stitch, we're gonna add one of these eyes. And if you don't have beads for the eyes again, you can also use wrapped bands. So first, you're gonna take your bead, pull through that V shape. Put both ends on your hook and pull the first one through the second and third one. Right there. And now we're gonna do three more stitches. So one, two, they're just normal stitches, and three. You should have four stitches left. And right now you're gonna go to the fourth stitch and add your second eye. So just take your hook, pull through that V shape, put both ends on your hook, pull through the second and third one. And right now you're gonna add the fins again. So go through the next stitch. Take a band, pull through the V shape, put both ends on, and you're just gonna chain one. And you're gonna chain two. And make a stitch right there. And right now again, you're gonna do three stitches and chain one. So one, two, and three. Then you're gonna go to the next stitch And pick a band, pull through everything on your hook. Put both ends on your hook, tie a slip knot like that. And then you're gonna go to the next stitch and do a normal crochet. Take out your, your stitch marker and put it on the band on your hook. Like that. It should look like this. Okay. And now we're gonna go through this one because we got a fin here. We're gonna go through the bottom one right there. So under this fin, we're gonna go through that one, take a band, pull through that bottom stitch, and pull through the second and third one. So right now, it may be hard to see, but you're gonna go through the next stitch right here. So this, the bottom stitch after. Just go through, take a band, pull through, make a stitch right there. And right now, you're just going to go through that very small V shape. So we're not going to go through this one anymore. We're going to go through that actual stitch. So this one right here. They're very small, tiny, 
V shape. Make a stitch. And right now, again, we're gonna go through the bottom one of this fin. So just right here. And we're gonna make a stitch. And right now, we're not gonna go through the next bottom stitch. We're just gonna go ahead and do the normal stitches. So right now, we're not gonna go through this one because this one is a part of the fin. So we're gonna go through this one where the eyes are attached to and make your stitch. And right now you're just gonna go here by making normal stitches all the way. And for a last stitch, you're gonna go through the very small one because it's part of the eye. And right now we're gonna go again into the bottom stitch of the fence. And make your stitch. And right now we're just gonna jump to this one. Right here. It's the fins. Make your stitch, and your last stitch is going to be on your stitch marker. Take off your stitch marker, and put it on the band on your hook. It should look like this. And right now, you should have 12 stitches. So the one on your hook, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and 12. And right now, I'm gonna jump to the white bands. So it's the bottom of the body so right now we're just gonna do normal stitches all the way around with white rubber bands so since we're gonna change colors the first stitch is gonna be a slip stitch so we're gonna go through the first stitch take a band and pull through everything on your hook Slip knot. Then right now, we're gonna go to the next stitch and just do a normal stitch. And right now, you can take off your stitch marker and put it on the band on your hook. Okay. So right now, it should look like this. And now, we're gonna do decreases. So first, we're gonna do a single stitch, then a decrease. A single stitch, then a decrease. So right now, I'm might gonna fix your eyes first. So. Just make it 
not too bumpy. Yeah. And right now we're gonna do single and decreases. So first, we're gonna, gonna go to the first stitch, which is that pretty small one. Do a single stitch. Then we're gonna do a decrease. So a decrease, we're gonna go to the bottom of the first stitch so just the bottom part and the top of the second stitch and you're just gonna pull up and through put both ends on through a stitch and now it's normal a decrease Go to the bottom one of the first stitch and the top one of the second stitch. Single. In the final one, which is single, take off your stitch marker and put it on the band and hook. And right now, it should look like this. And you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine stitches. Yep. And right now, we're gonna grab some stuffing. So you can use whatever you like. Roll it into a small ball. And now we're just gonna stuff the little whale. It's a bit hard to stuff because the hole is a bit small. So that's enough. You're gonna grab your hook. And do decreases all the way around. So no normal stitches, no single stitches. Just decrease all the way around. So grab the bottom one. And the top one. All the way around. bottom and top bottom top bottom and top off your stitch marker and you're just gonna do your last decrease and right now you're gonna pull through everything on your hook and tie a slip knot like that. 
and now it should look like this let's make it in shape and right now we want to hide this tail you're just gonna go through the body and grab the tail pull through Okay. And now your whale is done. So if you like this video, please share, like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you like your whale. Bye! <laughs>